Hi guys, Jennifer here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share my design team project for Crafty Me Shop. I made this gorgeous little clutch. This was originally a canvas bag that had some handles and I really um, just was not digging the handles. So I changed that and I cut them off and then you'll see the inside. But anyway, I did so many layers. <laughs> so many layers let me bring that up for you to see so i had this gorgeous piece that i received in my design team package and it was um, a, a unique piece that i wasn't sure how to use and until i started playing with it and i thought oh that would look so pretty coming over the top so yeah i ended up it was a like triangle, oh, not a triangle, but a uh, square basically like this. And so I made it the topper and I layered um, a couple of different uh, appliques, this tea dyed one. And then this one uh, was off of the applique that had these two on the sides and it was the flower and then this was part of a trim that was in the kit and so I just um, added, added them up so it would flip over like that. So the back you can see I added this pearl trim as well and I did the pearl trim up facing up because you weren't going to see the, that part of the trim on this side anyway. So I thought well why don't I just make it look pretty on this side. So in on this front part, I I added a ton of different laces. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then there's one underneath. So nine, <laughs> and then this pretty applique I decided to put there because it was a little bare when I <clears throat> pulled this up. And I still wanted this to look pretty even after I opened it up. So then I used this pretty little trim on the side. Um, it, they look like little bumblebees, but now they look like little scallops. So I did that on both sides just to kind of finish that edge off. And then this looks so pretty when you close it. And I didn't Velcro it or anything because I, I think it's heavy enough. This piece is super heavy. So, and then I use one of her little butterflies here. And let me show you the back. So the back I was going to leave plain, believe it or not. And then I was like, I just couldn't leave it. Um, yeah, I just was finishing up with some glue, um, hot glue to make sure everything was down good. So I put one two three four trims on the back and then this was a trim but i cut it up to make it look like an applique and then this gorgeous trim i just kind of ruffled underneath the back so that kind of finishes off the bag nicely and then when you open it up i trimmed the inside with this gorgeous fan trim and uh I think that's probably one of my favorite trims. I love the satin and cream and then the fan and white and it was just perfect to line the inside where I took the handles off and I didn't want to see that. So, um, and I have the little scalloped trims, you know, kind of peeking over this, the edge. I just thought that looked so pretty and finished it up. And then on the bottom, I just used this trim because I didn't want the bottom to be undone. So I just kind of folded over this trim so that I wouldn't have a raw edge there. And then I put this one like sandwiched in. And it's perfect because it's the same on both sides. So it just kind of looked like it was supposed to go there. So... Anyway, that is my design team project, and this would be beautiful to put um, a journal in because it would fit quite a large journal with the gusset on the bottom. So 
so you can fit a really nice journal in here. So there you go, guys. I hope that you love this project. I had so much fun. I kind of just did this little by little while, you know, watching TV and stuff. And I just took my time and no pressure. I tried not to pressure myself because that's, you know, the creative freedom just has to flow. And um, I just kept layering and layering and layering. And finally, I got it to the point where I thought it was ready. But I just couldn't believe how beautiful that applique just made this gorgeous bag. And you can see how pretty the uh, seed beads are coming across a little bit darker on this, but they're really not. There's so many um, sequins, seed beads, and pearls on here. And uh, I love that I added this pearl trim. It just kind of finished off that topper part. And then I used two little white bows there. Super cute. All right, guys. Well, I hope you like this, and I will um, be back soon with another project. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.